Being able to execute PowerShell scripts with AWS Lambda functions is pretty exciting news. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pass some input data to AWS Lambda functions. First, you'll need to make sure that you're running PowerShell 6 or higher. I'm running PowerShell 6.1 in my integrated console in VS Code. Next, we'll need to have both the AWS PowerShell and AWS Lambda PS Core modules installed. I'm going to go ahead and import those modules now and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is use an access key and secret key, which I've already stored into variables to initialize my AWS credentials. Let's go ahead and run initialize AWS default configuration with my access key and secret key. Next, let's create a new PowerShell script from a Lambda template. I'm going to run get AWS PowerShell Lambda template to see which templates I have available. For this demo, I'm going to use the basic template, which I'm going to pass to new AWS PowerShell Lambda with a name of input test. When I open the sample script that it creates, you'll notice on line 4 there's a predefined variable called lambda input. This is set aside to be a PS object containing the input data passed to the lambda function. I'll get more into how to pass data to this later. For now, let's just go to the bottom of this script and use write host to display the contents of the lambda input variable. Using write host will display our output in the CloudWatch logs for this function. Now let's save and close this script. Now I'm going to create a splat of the parameters I need to publish the function. I'll specify input test for the name of the function, then the path to the script file to run. Then for region, I'll specify my local region, which is US East 1. Finally, I'm using an IAM role that I've already created, which this function will run as, called Lambda Basic Execution. Now let's go ahead and pass those parameters to publish AWS PowerShell Lambda to publish the new function. This will start building the project and create the new Lambda function in AWS. Now that the Lambda function has been created, if I run get lm function list, I can see my new input test function. Now that we have the new function, let's put together the payload or input data. Here I'm going to specify a hash table with some values, a first name, last name, and department. Lambda functions require the input to be in JSON format, so I'm going to use convert to JSON when storing this data to the payload variable. Now to invoke this function, I'm going to run invoke lm function against input test passing in the payload data. A status code of 200 means that the invocation was successful. Now let's take a look at the CloudWatch logs for this function by running get CWL filtered log event and look at the events property. If I scroll up a little bit, we can see our payload data that has been passed to the function in the logs. Now let's go back to the script file and do something with this input data. I'm going to replace my write host command with some more code. As you can see here, since the lambda input variable is a PS object, we can access its properties just like any other object. Here, I'm storing the first name, last name, and department to variables to build a string which I'm going to write out to the logs. Let's go ahead and save and close this file again. Now we need to republish the function with the splatted parameters. Now that that's complete, let's invoke the function using the same payload. Now let's take a look at the log events again. Now we can see the string that I built from the payload data being displayed. And that's how to pass input data to an Amazon Web Services Lambda PowerShell script. Thanks for watching.